Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if this is your first time here, I really appreciate you checking in. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell so you are notified when I do upload a video because I upload one every single Saturday. So today, um, you know, I realized I hadn't done a like a health or fitness one in a couple weeks. So we're gonna do a little bit of a health kind of video today. I just finished grocery shopping, so right here behind me you can see my grocery shopping haul. Um, so if you have seen any of my videos before, you do know that I have said I am very lazy when it comes to prepping food and making healthy meals, but eating healthy is something that is important to me. So I figured I would share how I do that, maybe dive a little bit more into the prepping side, and then over the next couple days I'll share some of the healthy meals that I make with some of these items. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so chicken is gonna be our main protein for um, the, the next few meals. So I have preheated the oven to 400, and I'm gonna be baking this chicken in kind of a neutral manner. I'm just gonna season it maybe with some garlic, some pepper, some salt, um, because we will be using it for a few different meals with these items. I tend to do that. I like to prepare protein that can be mixed up in several different ways so nothing goes to waste and I don't get bored from eating the same thing over and over. So let's prep the chicken. All right, so here's what I'm gonna be using to prep our chicken. Uh, I have some fresh garlic. Again, super lazy, so I love that Safeway has already peeled garlic. I'm gonna chop that up. I have a baking sheet. I'm gonna spray it with the olive oil pan, and then salt, garlic powder, pepper, and that's olive oil. And then we're going to sprinkle with the salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So while I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, I'm going to be prepping and chopping and storing my red onion and my ginger, which I will be using in some future meals. This is my gear when I'm chopping onions. <laughs> and I just heard that the oven is ready, so we're gonna put the chicken in. So, and like I mentioned at the beginning, it was preset for 400. And I'm gonna bake it for 22 to 26 minutes. Okay, one more thing that I do, uh, when I buy strawberries, I take them out of the store-bought container and I put them in an airtight Tupperware. I put a paper towel on the bottom and then I transfer them in there. Strawberries store better that way. Do not wash them before you do this. Wash them just right before you eat them and your strawberries will last a whole lot longer. Um, I learned this, you know, growing up in a farm town where we get all the fresh berries. Um, they always tell you that, is to put it in an airtight container um, with paper towels in it, and that'll keep them fresher longer. And you top it with more paper towels. 
and then seal it up. And that makes strawberry. All right, so this is the last thing I'm prepping. Um, we love this spicy mango chicken um, sausage. We're, we're trying not to eat as many red meats, so we're switching to chicken sausages. But we love them in a breakfast scramble. So I chop these up and I have it ready in a Tupperware. So for breakfast, we can literally just throw it in with the eggs. It's just already ready to go. It helps eating a healthy whole breakfast a lot easier in the morning. Okay, so now I have all those things prepped. Um, so when I'm going to make my meals, which I will share with you guys, it's gonna be a whole lot easier. So now I just put everything away in the fridge. Okay, so my chicken breasts are all done. I sliced it open to make sure that it's fully cooked inside. So I'm gonna let them cool down, then I will slice them all and put them in a Tupperware so they are ready for um, other meals. Okay, so I'm gonna make one of the meals right now. I have a half and half blend of organic baby spinach and organic spring mix. So I'll put a little bit in there. We have these dried cranberries and glazed walnuts, just a salad topping. Sprinkle a little bit there. Some feta cheese. Once I add the chicken, I'm gonna to top it with this raspberry vinaigrette. Okay, how delicious does that look, guys? Mm. So I'm gonna eat this and I will check in tomorrow with another meal. Hello, guys. So uh, I skipped breakfast today. Not skip breakfast, but I didn't make breakfast at home. I actually went out to meet a client, so I ate when I was out with her. Um, so I'm gonna make some, it's kind of a late lunch late afternoon now, but I'm gonna make something with some of the stuff that I prepped yesterday. So I have the prepped veggies from Safeway. I love Safeway. I love how they have these nice little packaged, chopped up fresh vegetables, super easy. So I have those, I have the ginger that I chopped up, I have the fresh garlic and the chicken. We're gonna make like a Asian, teriyaki stir fry and these veggies actually does have a little Tupperware of teriyaki sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. So first off, let's cook some rice. Okay, while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna chop some more garlic. You know me, I love my garlic. I'm also gonna add some of the ginger. Throw a little shake in there. Ginger's pretty strong, so if you're not a very strong flavored person, only add a little. Okay, so when I'm making an Asian dish, I like to use a mixture of two different oils. I love sesame oil. It adds like that yummy toasted like, mm, sesame flavor and smell. Oh, it smells so good. So I sprinkle a little bit in there. And then I love spicy. If you're not into spicy, don't use this. 
but I love this chili oil. You can basically get it in like the Asian section of any grocery store, but I add a little bit of that. And again, guys, it's spicy, so don't add a whole lot. And I'm gonna saute the ginger and the garlic a little bit. Get as flavors going before we add the vegetables. Now that that's sizzling a little bit, I'm gonna add the veggies. And again, these are already pre-cut and pre-washed from Safeway, so I don't need to wash them. Okay, so now the vegetables look you know, cooked. They're all kind of caramelized -y. They soften up a little bit. I'm going to add the teriyaki sauce. You're gonna to wanna to lower the heat for that because uh, teriyaki sauce has sugar in it and it'll caramelize and kind of stick to your pan if you don't. So let that cool down a little bit and we'll add the sauce. And that is it. How delicious does that look? Mmm, with some steamed rice. It's gonna be so good. Now we're gonna add that chicken that I chopped or cooked and chopped up yesterday. Just some of it, not all of it. Add some chicken. There we go. And that is it. How delicious does that look? Mm. Add a little sriracha. Mm. Look at that, guys. So good. Let's give it a try. Mm. So good, so spicy. Mm. Delicious. That's another healthy meal that I make in my lazy fashion. I hope it was helpful, guys. I will check in for breakfast. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna make a quick breakfast with the stuff I prepped. Uh, so I pulled out eggs, the chopped onions, and the chicken apple sausage. All right, so while those onions are kind of soften up a bit, I'm going to scramble some eggs. And I'm making enough for me and my husband, so I'm not gonna eat four eggs all by myself. And he likes those Kodiak cake protein waffles. Um, how, much, how many grams of protein do they have in them? Quite a bit, huh? But they're all whole grain. They have um, protein in them. I like them. I'm just not in the mood for them today. So I'm going to have toast as my carb. All right guys, so those are some of my lazy girl healthy meals. How I kind of pre-prep my food in advance to make eating healthier a little bit easier. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button with the bell so you are notified when I do upload a new one because I upload one every Saturday. I really appreciate you guys watching. It means the world to me. I will catch you soon. Bye.